Good morning, guys. I know it's been a while since I put up a video. I am here with my guy, Fireball. And I'm doing a video. Um, <clears throat> and this guy, I don't remember if I've said on my channel yet or not, but we've been fighting um, Scale Rot for almost the last year. I got this kiddo in August of last year, and he had never ate for me. Because I made the mistake. Yes. We want. We want. Uh, because I made the mistake of getting like the brick of cocoa chips and just immediately, you know, getting them damp, throwing them in the tank, and then immediately after, throwing him in the tank. Didn't think it was that wet to cause scale rot on him, but it did. Um, yes, that just goes to show all of us who do currently keep reptiles, for those of you watching in and thinking about getting reptiles, we all do make the mistakes. We all think we're not going to, but we do. And we try, try to learn from them. Um, but... If my bracelet here will let me, I will show you how we're doing. Because it was clear up to about right here. And now we're completely clean until we get down here where we still have a few stores. So I waited until about a month ago to start bringing him to a vet. One, because I thought they were going to be like super, super expensive. And, but in reality, I found one that's local for really cheap. Um, and so far seeing that vet, we've had amazing progress. Um, and I will add, on his underbelly, where it's all white, it was scabbed over. Like, completely scabbed over. I managed to get all those scabs off on my own. Like, it was all just one big scab for the longest time. I managed to help him get it off on my own. But then, for the rest, I decided it was time for help. Also because I didn't want him going an entire year without eating. Yes, I do understand. He is a ball python. They are picky, picky, picky eaters. Um, and this is my first ball python, so I'm going to make those mistakes along the way. Um, but I have a great support system behind me that has helped me through all of this with him that know more about them than I do plus I have this great thing called YouTube to look into um this kid should be a couple years old when I started bringing him to the vet he was 304 grams yes 300 grams well 304 um, a week later when I brought him back to the vet, he went down to 300 grams. Yes, I know we are severely underweight, but we're getting there. This morning, I get him out to weigh him because we were able to finally feed him last, what was it? That's fine. Last Saturday we fed him, right? Yeah. Yeah, we fed him this last Saturday and he was able to get a pup wrap up down and it was the greatest thing ever because i almost had to force feed him so we could get his stunts going back up and uh so this morning i will go to weigh him since he has had the time to digest and get that all settled 
And this man is now 329 grams. So, we are getting up there. We'll probably feed it again in a couple days or so. If that long. And see how we're doing. He does go back to the vet tomorrow. So, more to come. But yeah, our kid is doing great. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. You guys can go. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. And I will try to answer them. And I will update you guys more on how he's doing later. Bye.